what is up everybody it is your boy it's your homie real diversity man we're back um so i kind of just want to talk i try to make now mind you these aren't the greatest decks uh but i i, I dang near forgot his name already we're gonna go find out is it oh there's nimrod i was gonna say it's like nim something i was gonna say N N naboo or something like that but yeah so we are basically back man we tried to make a decent deck. Okay, so this one, I'm going to tell you how this one worked. This one actually had a bit of success. If you could get... At, at, <clears throat> it wasn't too, too crazy to get this. But if you could just get Na Naboo and... Um, if you could get Naboo, Psylocke, and one of the six cost Destroyer cards, like uh, Artem Zola or Destroyer before turn um before turn five you're good because you can play psylocke Nib naboo turn four basically you just need them two and just hope that you drew the other two before that that time frame but if you start the, the game with psylocke and naboo nimrod sorry why, why did i start i literally said i thought his name was naboo and i kept calling him naboo nimrod what in the world okay sorry if you start the game, Nimrod turn four, um, Artem Zola, Den Destroyer, perfect. I mean, uh, great. That's actually probably the better combo. Artem, Den Destroyer, that way you can get, um, you can get like, what's that, four? I guess, yeah, that, I didn't even, I really didn't even do the math too much on that one, but I think that's, because that's two destroyers. So that's like, yeah, Den Destroyer, whatever lane destroyer, what sucks about that is whatever lane you put, well, you could put Destroyer anywhere. I would try to avoid pin them somewhere where they're gonna spawn at but right there's gonna be an empty lane and that's where you don't want to pit destroyer because that's where all the um uh, nimrods will go so i think that's an okay strat um that's what i thought about with this one and then shuri just in case we don't we can just do the normal shuri nimrod destroyer type player something like that thing was about this i didn't like too much was the um the destroyer setup so much i, I wasn't the biggest fan of it uh it just like it seemed like sometimes we had a good hand to throw carnage and and set up carnage art decently or whatever and it just didn't seem too great and the reason death lock death lock is in there is really to kind of just get nimrod uh and, and we unless it turns six we just need someone to destroy nimrod kind of really essentially was all that was so he becomes basically um nimrod but the thing my question is what makes nimrod better than dr doom in any like capacity because dr doom does basically the same like what make because nimrod is a turn six play essentially it's, it's almost unlikely and you're not there's no co one cost that it would destroy nimrod so um except what's his name teenage mutant her name teenage mutant nuke that with ah, mega sonic cast something like that i forget already but that uh, oh it's a high location day. okay good day to probably run um like a uh, uh anything that's gonna cover the field up like a zoo deck patriot deck something like that but um but right so or or even an iron man deck would be pretty solid today i think uh just fill up that location and, and just throw iron man there at the end it don't matter who you pit there and then hopefully you can win the other lane some way somehow i mean yeah it's probably a good day to run iron man uh and uh claw maybe even iron man claw combo so but yeah, so uh, yeah, I always always think of something that can help you win on a featured hot location or whatever day. Today's Wednesday. Um, luckily, it's nothing bad. I hate usually like the restricted. Like this is an okay location. Like you're gonna see a lot of Shang Chi's today. So actually, we wouldn't even be, be the best to play on this unless you're playing like low card. Like I said, Iron Man work. I think all right because you can't. You I mean maybe you run to some Enchantress rogues, but I think that's unlikely that you you more so run to Shang Chi's out here today. I think. Um. So anyways though um yeah so nimrod what makes him better than dr doom and in my opinion almost nothing because dr doom is that turn six play there's a surprise factor almost even that that turn six are just like okay uh they might not have not expected doom a lot of people aren't expecting doom um i don't have doom so i'm talking like i like no but i've i've played against him and seen enough uh it doesn't it doesn't take much to be an expert on marvel snap without using every deck um so yeah man essentially you can um definitely 
I think Doom is a better option, less predictable. You can. It's it's kind of hard on a turn five. Like if you if you go into turn six for a priority with Nimrod, they can't really stop you because I'm sure you play Nimrod in the right spot if possible um, to avoid like the Cosmo or the. Um, I don't. I almost don't even know what else could go wrong. There. What I did. I did what I used to do to stop Artem Zola plays, and it never ever worked. I would always play. Um, I used to play because I used to use my move. My move that used to have Hobgoblin in it. And what I learned recently, what, what I should have known this already, but when you when Artem Zola redistributes cards, they their on reveal effects happens again. So they would come right back to my side. The one time that it actually did happen, they came right back to my side, and I was like, oh, I didn't I didn't know that. So, I, which I should have known because of. Um, Black Panther's power doubles again once he's like copied. So, um, yeah. but it's just I think Nimrod's just a um a less powerful in my opinion. Um, Black Panther. Now, now mind you, I did think about this though. I just thought about this. Um, the right Nimrod is okay because once again, if Nimrod is destroyed, he multiplies. But also, if you're using somebody like Arm Zola, that's that's. That's basically 10. Now, if you can power him up some way, somehow, maybe Forge. Um, I was going to say Hulkbuster, but then again, it requires like a ramp deck like Psylocke or Electro to be able to get him out turn 4. And then turn 5, you boost him up um, by some way like that. But other than that, like I said, Forge. Um, then then he can come out and then you can Artem Zola with him. Um, things like that, so... Another thing I think could also potentially work is uh, Destroyer Wong. I, I, I need to try this out. Um, Destroyer Wong combo. I don't know if Wong... Because um, that, that might be a more stable play than like Psylocke than the other one. But I, if you play on the Wong and he gets destroyed, do you still get that second activation? And I can't remember if yes or no is the answer. And if I could, if I could test that out one of these days to find out, that would be great to know. Um, and then that would actually be a decent deck. I've also seen um, Gal- uh, Galactus decks go crazy with Nimrod. They power, I saw they power him up, and then then Galactus and then he gets two Nimrods. It's just crazy. So, but that was my little spiel. I like to talk a little bit before every um, at, at the beginning of every video. So. We're still using move deck today. I should have actually showed the deck, but uh, you know it's simple enough. Every, if you've ever seen a move deck, it's nothing different. Uh, okay. Once again, I've, what I've learned, what I've learned about this deck or a move deck in general is, um, you really have to snap early. Now I do have, yeah, I have. I am. Why am I snapping here? We have perfect. So we 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 can potentially expect we have the biggest threat to Torch is is oddly enough. If he gets too power overpowered, if he gets too overpowered, he becomes a um he becomes a threat to Shang Chi. But also he's a one cost, so he's always a threat to Killmonger. Now since we have armor, we we're not really worried right now. To we this is like the perfect time to go ahead and boost him up. Um, interestingly enough, too, is that ah, that sucks because I would have wanted to pit Forge there, so it's kind of sucks here. Um, because we could Doctor Strange him too. Darn, that sucks. Darn, 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 that sucks. I mean, we could ar- no see if we armor though. Ah. All right, we just gotta. Well, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. It is turn. We can just... We can potentially still move him turn. Oh, okay. So, we know what he probably won't do. Okay, it's, it's no... It's a ramp deck, so I, I'm, I have little faith in um him doing anything, like, crazy here. Hmm. <sighs> 
that C Okay, Jubilee comes out. Okay. Unfortunate for him, so. Uh. I think. I honestly think, yeah, I really want to put Vision just because I need him to move again once. I'm going to go ahead and need Vision to go ahead and move again. Oh, Leech. Okay, that's actually okay. Cloak. Um... Here's my thought process here. Let me go for... I'm trying to, like, we're going to tie right. He can't play a card there. He already couldn't play one anyway without, like, doing too much. Um, so I think the play here is really to go for power. If a Galactus comes out, we're still okay. We still win. So um, let's see what happens, though. Oh, Doom, okay. Oh, we actually lose terribly then. Why was I was I not expecting a doom? Was I really not expecting doom? We was just, the fact that we just talked about doom. Could I have done anything different there? Um I really don't think so. I think the vision play was right because we wanted the option to be able to... The only mistake we made was snapping, I guess. But one, that's the thing about this move deck is that you have to snap so early. It's like, if you don't snap, then then you usually, like, by the time you get to the end of the game and you're, like, easily going to win, they just leave. So you, you net only one cubes a lot of times. And it's so hard to kind of foresee a lot with this deck. Um, but, yeah. Dark Dimension is one of the worst locations we we would want we want to see on here because it's just is uh just terrible for us. I think we'll start crank cry since we do have we do have cloak here. I, I want to kind of make that play. What we actually should have did what we actually should have did idiotically is we should have um went ahead and um. It's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it next turn. We should have went ahead and picked Torch now, but this we're, we're just Hulk Buster the. Uh... I don't know. After you play a card here, destroy it and get, um, see, this is interesting because I don't want to, darn, 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 darn. Actually, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, this is what we're gonna try, attempt to do. We're gonna play. We're gonna see if we can. Is Dark Dimension a hot location too? Because isn't this the second time we're seeing it? Or am I tripping? Okay, good. We do get. Okay, we do get Heim though. So let's see if this play works. I'm not sure if it will or not. But let's just give it an attempt. We may. This may give us an extra plus four on our. Um, our thing 
I'm just not 100% sure if this would destroy um, multiple men or not. We're going to find out. Yeah, it, okay, I, I assumed it did because usually the effect goes on to whoever was there. So I, I, I wasn't sure, but I, I figured it was more than likely going to do that. Here's what we're gonna do. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah, let me, I'm trying to think. Do I need to do this first or not? Okay, let me, I think this will work. Um, no, on reveal, I don't know. Wait, what? Um, I must be playing a bot then. So I don't know if me moving him des destroys him or not. If I moved armor too early or not. Let me. Hey, that's another. So does he die here? Let me see. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. And I wanted armor to be there with. Okay. 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 But the thing. Okay. Yeah. I should have played armor first. That was the right order. See the thing. The. The bit move decks take a lot of big brain thinking. It takes a lot of thinking, and I, I should have still played armor first, but I should have played armor on the right side so he got moved over on after the armor reveal effect because armor reveal effect happens, everyone else effects happens, then the location effect happens. It's usually the order. Now sometimes the game benefits you a little bit more. Like there is one location that says when a car moves here give it plus two now a lot i think that uh, that location like if human torch moves there then human torch gets that plus two then his power doubles not at, not before he gets to plus two his power he gets to plus two then his power doubles so a lot of times it does seem like it you get it it's, things happen out of order sometimes it seems intentional so i'm not sure all a hundred percent of the time but yeah Missions, missions, we got some more missions, 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 we got some more missions. Alright, back to the grind. Hopefully no the, the like every other location is worse than that that location because every car it's kind of funny too because dark dimension isn't that bad like you think oh it's just your it, it's a really beneficial to a lot of decks, especially like a discard deck. Um, cause then you can just kind of plan the order of things. But for us, a, uh, dark dimension is pretty terrible. Cause we want every, we literally want everything to kind of go off before it goes off. There is only one card that I can think of pitting in dark dimension and that's maybe Heimdall. And that the only way that would happen is, is if like Heimdall before actual turn six, cause turn six, doesn't matter anyway. But, uh, like, um, we would have to like, you know, and they wouldn't see the Heimdall play coming potentially. But we, you know that, yeah. What's that location that gives you plus five? We would need that basically that location. So, um, interesting. Okay, yeah, actually, yeah. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Let us. Yeah. You can't play card. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, of course. Well, it's fine because we, if we waited a little bit longer, torch would have been okay. Good, and then we do get um, we do get um. Okay, cause so here, here's what we're gonna do. Then torch middle. Okay, yeah. I don't want to snap here and scare him off, but I really want to snap here. But we'll wait.
Okay, Bucky. Looks like a destroyed deck. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, we're not. I'm not too worried, concerned about that. It's kind of a play. I think I'm gonna leave um, Iron Fist over there. Um, I don't. I don't. I maybe he just had that. He just had Warpath in his hand. I don't see the purpose of uh, leaving him like that. But okay. Okay, turn five. Now thoughts. I think this is the play. Right? Yeah, I think this is the play. Yeah, that's the play, I think. So. Okay, Cosmo comes out there. That's interesting, because I I can still, even if, even without the Heimdall play, I can still just, like, right? I mean, there's still so many options. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Um, yeah, we go first, so. I don't really see anything going wrong here. was like the worst hobgoblin play I've ever seen because well he did go second he was he was yeah that's what happens when you over predict the Heimdall play I think but uh not not too bad of an of an option there and then he played armor too interestingly enough that is I'm so confused maybe is this a destroyer Naboo deck maybe I'm that's the only thing I could think of but I'm just not even sure what was going on here um but yeah Torch 32 Iron Fist, we knew he was he was good. He had that location secured. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, the only I don't. I think we made the perfect play there. I think we could have. I think really another play if we was gonna do that. If I knew we had armor, the other play we could have made was simply we could have Doctor Strange. We could have just pit Vision down and made sure. Um, we could have made sure Iron Fist's location was secure because once again, what could he have done? He could have made a Doctor Doom play. Once again, that Doctor Doom play is very um, unpredictable. So if you if you just don't really think about it, it can sneak up on you. And I think Vision now, I think back on it, was the better play. But I didn't know he was going to have armor. But we already had Doctor Strange, I believe. So we could have definitely just... No, we could just Doctor Strange and pray that he didn't shame Chi our freaking um Yeah, okay, yeah. Well cloak cloak wouldn't have went down. No, cause yeah, cloak it wouldn't have been cloak and and, and car it would have been just yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that location would have been better, yeah. So that would have been okay strat too, so. Also he still would have made that green goblin play, but it wouldn't have mattered, so um, just, just sometimes you want to think after the game, like, why, where did I went wrong? A lot of times I move so quick with this move deck, and it's like, oh, I should actually did this. And I'm always already thinking heavily with the deck anyway, but uh, a lot of times I'm like, well, I really should have actually did this instead. So, um, interesting. So we can just, we got a good, we got a good turn. Um, yeah, we already know our, our moves here. So let's see what we draw next. And then that would kind of really dictate what how we go about. Ah, Lord. Well, at least that wasn't too crazy. He didn't get nothing too crazy. He could at least let me get a chance in that. Jeez, man. You couldn't have waited for three seconds, sir. Three seconds, sir. So here's the plan. I'm trying to, I need to make sure they're separated. Cause I usually, I make this mistake a few times.
Yep, he had a good sidewalk play going and everything. Because if Hulkbuster comes out next, we want to make sure, and he does, which of course he does, because why wouldn't he? I mean, literally, why wouldn't he? Uh, so. Let me make sure everyone's kind of where I want them to be. Oh, this is actually a great day to play, uh, Mary. Uh, oh, did he snap on us? Snap back, sir. Snap back. Oh, and then we okay. Then we get the Heimdall play too. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we'll stick with that. It gives us options. Also, if Torch comes out here, that would be. And I've always wanted this play where Torch. Uh, I get this. Um, tie. I get the Titan location, um, and then I can play. Uh, I can play uh, Torch and Heimdall on the same turn, which is always. Uh, it's just a quick one four right there. So, so you guys, think about this. We don't need to even touch uh, a few of these guys um, here. We don't need to worry about that far left lane because most there is a muscle man that's gonna shoot over there. And or should we actually or should we actually still go there anyway? Yeah, that's the better play. I think we actually just should just still go there anyway. So. Just to, just to make sure every location is full, I think, so. Yeah, let's do that, actually, instead, so. And we both snapped, so I think we did anyway. Oh, I forgot about that. I always forget that they can move, too, but it usually doesn't matter too much. Um, he only played one car, interestingly enough, so. Curious about that. Two of them still going back over there. That 14. Oh, am I playing a oh oh I forgot this was a, a six a turn six game. Um yeah. So armor here then. I completely forgot about that. Turn six too. Yeah. I didn't even I didn't know what I was gonna say I mean what could he have done there? I think it's Shang Chi the mess out of me there, but I think we still win. We still easily just win, um, we still, even eight can just change you one of locations, but we still win pretty readily there, so. I think, let me do some quick math, five, uh, that would have been 12, that we would have already been at 40 off the 12 from Vision, and then Armor would have gave us eight more, so we'd have won middle, I think, for sure, so, I mean, far right, so. So he lost four, just yeah. I would have I should have waited just a little bit longer, but I didn't I for, completely forgot about that. Um it was no point either really waiting, just I mean if, if he leashed us or something like that, that would have sucked, you know. So it's happened multiple times where I've been like not multiple, but there's been times where I was like, okay, I can do this play, but let me wait. And I get leashed or something, and it's like darn. So I could have I should have played it earlier like I wanted to, so that, that kind of sucks when it happens. But other than that, it's all good. So. 